Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Trying really hard with the voice now. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I want to start the video by showing off this image. This is a leak image, uh, not official, uh, of the new TARDIS uh, for the upcoming Doctor Who series. I imagine this will be uh, Shooty Gatwa's uh, version of the TARDIS. If this... Because I can't confirm... 100% this is legit, but if this is legit, the uh, TARDIS, which is going to be used for the new series, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't really have uh, much of a complaint here. Maybe a splattering of color uh, might not have been a bad thing. However, I think it does tend to blend the old school, uh, pre-New Who, uh, original doctor who tardis with a more modern aesthetic and uh i like the engine of the tardis uh console beats a dead crab with an erection uh that jody whittaker had and maybe just maybe a few less colors of the rainbow isn't necessarily a bad thing right now uh but this is if this is truly gonna be the new tardis I think it looks pretty good, you know? Uh, feel free, you know, you can obviously have your own opinions, but I, I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, I can't think of too much uh, to, um, you know, to criticize. I don't think there really is. The thing looks very sleek, slick, very nice design. We'll see. I mean, obviously, it's just a superficial thing, but, you know, like I said, we'll see. As you know, I'm uh, froof. When it comes to Doctor Who, I, I, you know, I'm, I don't want to be Hawkeye in Endgame. Just, you know, but don't give me hope. I've been so black-pilled in Doctor Who recently. David Tennant's back for a little bit. That's nice. You know, that's nice. Tennant's great. Loves the Doctor. Loves Doctor Who. Uh, probably the most popular Doctor in 40 years. Plus. So it's going to be nice to have him back for, what, about three episodes or something before he um, regenerates into Shooty Gatwa. Or oh, there's some shenanigans with the Doctor splitting. I don't know. We're going to find out. Put it that way. We're going to find out. With that said, I do have reservations as well because of Russell T. Davis in recent years. Uh, if you If you... Asked me to put my faith in 2005 Russell T. Davis, you would have had it in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. But if you asked me to put faith in 2023 Russell T. Davis, I, I can't give that to you. Because over the course of the last few years, he's certainly become far more political. There are certain things that he's pushing, which I can't get on board with. And I don't want to go into it in this video because this isn't the video for that and also i'll be completely straight with you youtube has youtube has a, a very sen strong sensitivity to anyone being critical of certain aspects let's just put it in as as you know <laughs> mucky uh, as possible way but um when we started uh, to hear that he was going to take over, that was some good news. But then when, when we started to hear what he was saying, when he cast an 18-year-old trans actor for the Doctor's companion for Tenant, I believe, for these next few episodes, again, I think there's uh, a lot of stuff which we unfortunately can't discuss on YouTube. A lot of exploitation. A lot of fakery. Uh, so the less said about that, the better right now, but it may, may have alarm bells. And then Shooty Gatwa comes along. And uh, when he's being interviewed about the Doctor, he, uh, <laughs> he keeps slipping on the pronoun usage that the program has uh, made him say. The Doctor no longer is a he. Uh, you know, they, he tried to refer to the Doctor as a they. Because, of course, we've had Whitaker's iteration. 
I'll just tell you right now, I'm 100% the doctor's a man. The doctor should always be a man. That's the doctor. Stop playing with gender roles. By gender roles, I mean the beautiful, sweet, iced versions you get in the store. Just leave it alone. Characters can be a specific gender. We don't have to f around and muck around. And one of Doctor Who's major problems to me was making Time Lords able to switch genders. And that said, I'm going to be a complete hypocrite now because yes, Michelle Gomez was great as the master. However, Michelle Gomez could have been her own original Time Lord character. And she would have been fantastic and she would have been fantastic because she was Michelle Gomez. So I got, I got issues, I got massive issues, and after Chibnall's run, and after, of course, the Timeless Child, just destroying, absolutely destroying the legacy and the history of Doctor Who, I'm very much on the same page with Gary from Nerdrotic here when I say Chibnall's number one, and if Chibnall isn't number one, then it's not Doctor Who. You know, the Doctor isn't some uh brown baby black baby that fell through a portal from another universe that got pushed off a mountain that fell gracefully to the bottom that went through multiple iterations of non-white male because the bbc hate the legacy of doctor who they hate the the white male legacy of doctor who and they want to rewrite history because we're in current day and it's not about character anymore. It's about superficiality, the color of your skin, your sexual orientation, stuff which doesn't define you as a character is now being the driving force to only define you. So I had a lot of problems, a lot of problems. And we get this. This is from John the White. Doctor Who, council culture is running out of control. Looks like RTD is next for the woke Puritan crusade. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? So let's just, uh, let's just read what's going on, shall we? Russell T. Day was talking. Talking about how to save TV. You make all of the back catalogue available first on iPlayer. I can't swear that will happen, but there are contracts. It's our heritage. It deserves to be there so kids can fall in love with Doctor Who like they love friends. I believe that it is currently on the iPlayer. It should be. 100% should be. The reason I spun out Torchwood and the Sarah Jane adventures first time around was to keep the channel controllers, the BBC, interested in Doctor Who. It's a brand, a franchise. I do a lot of mentoring and there are voices wanting to be heard of any gender, two of them, or ethnicity who consider themselves invisible. They hate the media that ignores them and they're trapped into wanting a job in that medium purely to increase representation. I read their scripts and they're rubbish. Wow. I'll carry, I'll finish this bit first before I say my piece. They don't actually love television, so they don't know how to write for it. We're well, absolutely correct. This is what we have been saying for years now. All they want is visibility. It's narcissistical. I'm not seeing myself personally as one in 8 billion people on the planet. Bow down to me. They're not thinking of the bigger picture. They're not understanding what entertainment is. They're not understanding that you are creating for others. Sure, you can put little pieces of yourself in there, little pieces of your life, pieces of what you've gone through, 
But it's not all about you. It's about taking a beloved franchise and respecting that franchise, whatever it may be. Be it Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Marvel Heroes, DC Heroes, Space 1999, The Prisoner, whatever it may be. It's about taking that franchise and respecting its history and respecting its fandom and creating something which can be new. But it also must have an element of the familiar. It must also go canonically along with the rest of the series. If the series is a canonical series and Doctor Who is a canonical series, which was torn apart by Chris Chibnall and the timeless woke. And yes, unfortunately for me, I've had to watch a lot of shows that have these people with their rubbish which is so generous, I prefer the term canine fecal matter, a.k.a. dog shit. They're dog shit scripts. And we get Rings of Power. We get Kenobi. We get uh, Loki and any pretty much any Marvel TV series you can think of. We get Batwoman. We get anything on the CW, we just get tripe after tripe after tripe after tripe. Because instead of going, this is shit, they're going, welcome because of your superficial characteristic, whatever that might they that may be religious, gender, uh, sexuality, color, ethnicity, whatever. Representation, inclusion, and diversity is a lie. It's always existed. How many times do I have to say this? And you can go back and watch TV from yesterday and you'll see it everywhere. And you'll see it all over the movies. Get rid of the trash. Get it out. The meritocracy is the fairest thing that you can have because the meritocracy does not discriminate. The meritocracy says that's the best. You're the best regardless of what ethnicity, sexuality, gender. You are. Oh, I hate the fact that he's saying... The right things right now. I have to give this uh, shooty Gatwa doctor a chance and an opportunity. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.